Right, in this case is a little portable real tape player, a recorder actually, a clarion. There's the booklet. Transistor battery recorder. Okay, leave that for one minute. Held in with a little clip. I'll just get it out. Sorry about the arm. Right. So there's the the bag. In pretty good condition. I think it's probably 1960s must be, 50s, 60s. The machine itself is in good nick. There is a little bit of craze into the plastic casing and like a little bit of cracked effect inside the, the cover. But all in all, it's pretty good condition. That hole on the side there is for the mains. Then you've got the red socket is a microphone and the blue one is to hook it up to an amplifier or something and that's play and that's record this is made in west western germany on the back there and that's a little clip to open it up that there might be easier there we go so in the back, it's only about the batteries. Pertrix, leak proof, never heard of them. And then in there, at the moment, we've got four Duracell batteries. That bit there's a little motor turns a wheel under there. So there you're on the spring. You see the rest of it. So pretty straightforward. Let's put that back on. Okay. It's quite fiddly to get the lid off. It's got the tiniest little metal button to push. So, there's the Clarion microphone. They're not standard jacks, they're the old fashioned jack. And then inside, that's what it looks like. This switch is to knock the speaker out, volume control up there, reel to reel stop literally just holds the motor in here and then the spool still goes round in the middle but it doesn't turn the main thing under there is the the wheel the head record head play rewind it's incredibly slow because it needs a service um but it is working although it's really really quiet so whether it will be loud enough in the video we'll try here we go a little bit of an edit had to happen there. The tape had slipped, so it chewed it up instead. Anyway, so, as I said, we'll try and play it and see what happens.
So I need the service, they can hear that it's trying to do, do something. So it does all turn. The knocking is the motor going over a rough bit on the wheel underneath. I'm guessing where the um, motor had been left parked for many, many, many years. Anyway, that's that. And there's rewind, which is not keen about. It does do it. It's to do with the motor underneath and the spring needs adjusting. In order to get it to play, I had to loosen it off a little bit. It needs setting up, but it's it's doing what it what it's trying to do. <laughs> Funny little thing. There we go. Okay, I've taken the back off. So if I push play, be careful not to drop the spools off. You can see that in there is the motor going round and basically this little thing here spins just got to do it with the light and goes into contact with that wheel So when it's rewinding, it's not quite getting the right contact on the wheels. And just the spring, but if I adjust it one way, it didn't like it. It um anyway, there we go. It wouldn't play probably when that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> it's very fiddly. I forgot to go back to the book, so this video is a bit cobbled together, but anyway, you get the picture. So there's the first page. And recording from discs, recording telephone conversations, get permission. Uh, the next one is the twin track system, explaining how to load it. And then to rewind the tape, and they mentioned in there is spinning it with your finger. Uh, replay the recording. Playing through a radio or amplifier. I can't do that because I don't have the right jack. Erasing recordings. Car batteries. Cleaning and maintenance. Changing tapes. Then a schematic. Just in case someone needs it. And then is that the back bit? Yeah, it is. Got this bit in there as well. Clarion battery recorder. Telling you all about it. Who manufactures it? And the technical data. So hopefully that's of interest to someone. And then some useful tips. Right, there you go. That's the Clarion transistor battery recorder.